All right, so we're day two here uh, at, is it day two? Yeah, it is day two. Day two. two. Is it day two or day three? Day two. So uh, this is going to be the biggest day of the expo. We're going to get ready to head over there now. Ronnie Coleman, meet and greets, photo ops, myself, and then we'll roll back to the Young LA. So a little shorter day today, but tonight is the finals for the contest. Who is going to be the winner? That's the question. I think based on last night, Hottie Chupin repeats. Uh, just like he did two weeks ago, but we'll see. Uh, moving up though quick is John De La Rosa and uh, James also looked really good. So let's see what happens and uh, stay tuned. We're heading over the expo now. tremendous so far you guys hopefully you guys have followed the vlogs all along but we're uh we're uh gonna go to phil he's premiere tonight maybe we'll show a little bit of that huh yeah and then uh but this is the last day and then uh we're not back in europe till next month for fiba so make sure you guys if you didn't come over to the uk make sure you uh grab a ticket to uh fiba which is mid-april i think the 12th to the 15th we'll be there and uh here we go here's our drive right now so let's see what we got today. See how busy it is today. The weather's beautiful. Uh, no rain, which is great. Wow, the sun's out. Yeah. You know, it's funny, when I did my tour here, I did that seven day tour, bro. It was the best weather they ever had here, so it was awesome. Hey, man, how are you? Great. So, we've been, uh, we've been transported the whole time. It's been great. And, uh, I look forward to seeing what they, uh, the reactions are you hear a lot of stories here you hear a lot of people kind of tell the reason why they come out to these things and they queue up for a long time so we appreciate the, the waiting process but you know some of these lines man like four hours is crazy the trend twins yeah <laughs> the trend twins had a crazy line and john jones is there today maybe we'll try to get a picture with john you got a fanboy no no i just <laughs> think it's i mean have you ever I, met him before you know what? I don't think I've really met him in that sense, but he was with us at the twenty seventeen American Fitness Expo. Okay, he was a, he was there. Yeah, he was yeah. signed to Gap. I back mean, then. I mean, when when people call you the goat, I mean, I've heard that from many people that know the business. He's the greatest. So, I mean, that's that's saying a lot. And, There's know. really only two people I think that could really argue that him and Khabib. Yeah, could be. We don't know. I mean, obviously he's. But the question fighter. is, is John going to fight again? And I mean, he obviously he's coming up an injury for towards back. So, just cool to have him here, part of the team Young LA, which is awesome. Young LA's presence here was ridiculous. We were trying to figure out the size of the booth, so we'll have to ask Gary what the actual size was. I bet he doesn't even know. It looks just, like it's maybe two hundred by eighty. Yeah, I mean that's maybe the biggest expo booth ever. I've never I've seen anything yeah. like that before. I mean, it takes it's basically a like a whole aisle. So it's pretty cool to see that. See they got that. they got low riders. They got 
yeah, gym I mean, they, equipment. They brought in sand. Sand pits for thing. muscle beach. workout area. I mean, it's like they four stages. Four stages for meet and greets. Yeah, so. They did it right. So shout out to so you. So this is kind of nice with the, the photo ops. We do this at the Arnold Classics mainly. Uh, and this allows people not to they have a specific time where they can meet me and they don't have to queue up for hours on end if they're on a schedule and obviously it, it costs money but it's it's just more uh, it's more appealing to a lot of people. Can you hold this for me though? Or yeah, just put it here. Like peanuts, or... Yeah, so we start at twelve twenty, we're like ten minutes early right now. Yeah, we do with the pack. Thank you. So we're back from the UK. <laughs> we're back at the schedule, as you guys know. So listen, I just finished. Uh, I just finished a little stair work. Today's been kind of a catch-up morning, but you guys got to see uh, a little bit. This is the first time I actually did like a multi-segment uh, vlog on the road, and I'm not one to usually do this kind of stuff because obviously we're moving around, and I don't, you know, bring a camera guy with me all the time. I actually just have this Osmo that I'm using to kind of vlog with and show you guys a little bit behind the scenes. I actually bought this for jaywalking for Dave and I use and then Dave and goes buys his own so uh, it helps a little bit with that. But I want to say number one, uh, I've been to Birmingham a million times, right? I used to come up for body power. I think I was the second athlete to come over there 
I believe like 20, 2010, 29, 2009, maybe somewhere around there. And now, of course, body power is no longer. Uh, it's now, you know, the Arnold Classic has been taking place. For sure, the last couple of years I've been there because I went last year too. Um, and we had a, you know, obviously huge success. You know, they bring me over to do the meet and greets with myself and Ronnie Coleman. I know a lot of those are pretty quick. Um, this kind of the new uh, system they have because otherwise the queues, I mean, it's four or five hours for people to wait. And I mean, I, like I said, I always tell people when they wait in my lines, I'm very limited how long I'd wait to actually meet uh, even my heroes, right? Because to be honest, I never really had anyone that I was like, I need to meet this person. But I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate um, you, you know, taking time to spend with me, sharing the stories. I was able to spend time at Young LA for two days. Young LA took over that expo, guys, you know, and I've been working with Young LA Clothing um, with Gary and Robbie and the team over there. And, you know, a lot of those younger influencers and, you know, obviously they have like the Trend Twins. They brought over John Jones. Um, I, you know, it was just a cool uh, collab I've done working alongside those guys. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a continuous thing now. Um, they're just great people, great brand, great direction. I, as you see, I wear a ton of their clothes. Um, and they had the biggest booth we've ever seen in Expo. So a big shout out to Young LA. And, you know, they were like one of the big sponsors of the Arnold Classic. And, you know, Arnold, man, you're always pushing it to the next level. Like you saw, he po posted that um, raising the prize money in the U.S. to, to 500K. Uh, huge plus plus for the athletes. The production's always on point. Now, question rises, you know, who is taking over as the elite show? I mean, if the prize money is the most, people look at that as like, wow, you know, I can win the most money here. I'm going to go compete there. As you know, 2002, I skipped the Olympia to go to the Arnold Classic only. I only I actually was qualified to do the Olympia. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to focus on the Arnold. Won my first Hummer truck and 100K and a watch and, you know, invested that money. And like I always talk about, you know, I was able to uh, secure my lifestyle, which is, continues now. And I did it all from lifting weights. I did it all from bodybuilding. And, you know, I'm a favor, uh, favorite guy towards like the open classes, as you know. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great divisions, but I'm always going to support the open category. You know, once again, Hadi won, you know, his second in a row, Arnold Classic, you know, between two week period. You know, Samson looked tremendous. John Del Rosa looked great. Akeem stepped up to the plate. You know, congratulations, James. And, Everybody, Mo Shaban and Antoine and everybody that competed there, man, they just did a great job. It was a great production. Brian Powers, thank you. Uh, but most importantly, thank you to the fans, the supporters, the people that attended, the people that set up shop there and, uh, and gave us the opportunity to, once again, be face-to-face. -face. As you know, we had some time period where we couldn't get out, we couldn't travel, um, yes, the trips are long. Everyone says, you must be tired. No, man, I love it. I love it. I got to train out there. Thank you to Simon at Ultimate Fitness. You know, he accommodated us a couple days. I wish I could have trained more. I got on my cardio every day. You guys that follow my live feeds, you know, I was on there uh, doing my live feeds each day. So uh, got my cardio in. I'm back in Vegas and I'm on a crazy grind right now. I've been up since this early this morning. And, uh, you know, we had a, Angie had to bring Daisy to, uh, to go get our teeth cleaned. And, uh, now Angie's over here cooking. She wanted to surprise me with, with some pancakes. And I'm like, I don't want to eat pancakes today, but she's got a special recipe that maybe she'll share with you. Cause I know a lot of you guys follow her cooking recipes and it's called low calorie ricotta lemon pancakes. So... Tell YouTube where the best lemon ricotta pancakes you ever had was, because I have I know where it is. Boston Harbor. Hotel. Boston Harbor Hotel. We're going back in April, right? How do you say it though? You gotta say it. Boston right. Harbor Hotel. <laughs> so we had these. She she got these. Pan, they were twenty dollars, by the way. At this. Uh, $20 pancakes. Can you guys believe that? 20 bucks. But, just so they but know. you know what? I'll, I'll be honest. You know, we can have, you can have a steak at a restaurant for like 60, 70, hundred dollars, but damn those lemon pancakes, Angie, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, so I found a good recipe. It's 109 calories for six servings. That's how Well, six servings to the normal, but that would, that means that 
in actual, actuality, with the size of my pancakes, that would be like one or two, right? Yeah. But now you get like, I make like four little ones for you. Okay. Well, Angie picked me up last night. She said she missed me a lot. Yeah. And uh, everyone asked about Angie, so shout out to everyone in the UK yes, that sees us. thank you guys. Hopefully at one point we're going to get her over. She always is like, I want to come. And I'm like, you don't understand. It's so busy there. And and uh, but we gotta we gotta bring Angie over because I know a lot of people always request to see Angie. So Capone is Capone is a little lonely without his girlfriend. Huh. And where's where's Nato? Nato. He's hiding. So we have a our friend's dog here somewhere. Nato. What, what what you want attention? Nato. You want to say hi to YouTube, huh? So once again, guys, that's it for my vlog. Uh, once again, we have J Mac editing this thing. I'll be back this week with a jaywalk with Dave. What? He's in the bedroom. Oh, he's hiding. Okay. And uh, for another segment for JTV, we've hit a million. So I still have to do a special million uh, subscriber something. I got to do a thank you. And that's, I mean, what is it? Do I give something away? Do I fly someone to Vegas to work out, film it? Uh, how do we handle this? Tell me what, give me some suggestions on what other YouTube subscribers have done that I can top, that I can top, that uh, might be something special for Jay Cutler TV, because you guys have been with me for a long time, a lot of you guys. So for our new subscribers, welcome. This is what we do. We're still at it every day, still getting it in, and... Uh, for JTV, we're out. Okay, love you guys. And uh, once again, thank you to the UK and uh, Europe for all your uh, all your support. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I flip the script. I roll the dice. Don't fall asleep. Because I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to show...